the water gets in your shoes. <laughs> the way the wind whistles around your cheek. The way your heart pounds. Let's go out to the bridge. Ilza said the river's full of trees and bushes. The boys have a raft on the water. I heard Melky Gabor almost drowned last night. He can swim. You can say that again, girl. If he couldn't swim, he'd have drowned for sure. <laughs> oh, your braid's coming out. Mata, your braid's coming out. So, let it come out. It annoys me every hour of the day. I can't wear it short like you. I can't wear it loose like Venla. I can't have bangs. Even at home, I have to wear it up. All because of my aunts. I'll bring some scissors to confirmation class tomorrow. You can be saying, blessed is the man who walks not in the way of the wicked. And I'll cut it off. For God's sake, Venla, Papa will beat me to a pulp and Mama will lock me in the coal cellar for three nights. What does he hit you with, Marta? Sometimes I think they think something was missing if they didn't have a nasty little brat like me. Now, now, now. Weren't you allowed to run a sky blue ribbon through the yoke of your chemise? Pink satin. Mama says pink looks good on me with my pitch black eyes. <laughs> blue looks so cute on me. Mama dragged me out of bed by my braids and then fell on the floor with my hands out, like this. You see, Mama prays with us every night. If I were you, I would have run away a long time ago. There you have it. That's what she's up to. There you have it. But we'll see. Oh, we'll see. At least she doesn't have her mother to blame. Can you imagine what Mama meant by that, Taya? Not me. You, Venla? I would have just asked her. I lay on the floor and screamed and howled. Then Papa comes in. Rip! Off comes my chemise and I'm out the door. There you have it. She wants to go out in the street now, just like that. That can't be true, Marta. I was freezing. I opened the door. I slept in a gunny sack all night. I couldn't sleep in a sack to save my life. I'd be very happy to sleep in your sack for you sometime. As long as a person doesn't get beaten. You could suffocate in there. Your head stays out. The sack is tied underneath your chin. And then they beat you? No. Only if it's something special. What do they hit you with, Marta? I don't know all sorts of things. Does your mother think it's indecent to eat a slice of bread in bed? No, no. I can't help but think that they do have their fun, even if they never talk about it. When I have children, I want them to grow up like the weeds in our flower garden. Nobody pays any attention to them. And they're so tall, so thick, Meanwhile, the roses in their planters get scrawnier every year. When I have children, I'm going to dress them all up in pink. Pink skirts, pink hats, pink shoes. Only the stockings. Stockings black as night. <laughs> and then when I go out for walks, they'll march along in front of me. What about you, Venla? So you already know you're going to have some? Why shouldn't we have some? It's true that Aunt Euphemia doesn't have any. That's because she's not married, you stupid goose. My Aunt Bauer was married three times and didn't have a single one. What about you, Vendla? What would you have if you had some? Boys or girls? Boys. Boys. I want boys too. Me too, 
better 20 boys than three girls. Girls are boring. If I hadn't turned out a girl, I definitely wouldn't have wanted to be one now. I think that's a matter of taste, Marta. Every day I think how happy I am to be a girl. If I wasn't a girl, I'd kill myself so that next time... <laughs> He has a wonderful head. <laughs> That's how I imagined the young Alexander when he was studying with Aristotle. My god, Greek history? All I can remember is how Socrates was lying in a barrel when Alexander sold him the ass's shadow. They say he's number three in his class. Professor Brackenbond says he could be number one if he wanted to. He has a nice forehead, but... His friend has more soulful eyes. <laughs> more steeple of all the dotes. I've always gotten along very well with him. Every time he looks at you, he makes you look like an idiot. Even at the children's ball that Rillo's gave, he offered me these chocolates and Fenla imagined they were all soft and warm and isn't that... He said he kept them in his pocket for too long. Imagine this. Melky Gabor told me at that party that there's nothing he believes in anymore. Not God. Not a hereafter. Nothing in the world at all. <laughs> Wait for me!